In this visit, I'll talk about thyroid blood tests and what they mean. The thyroid gland is located in the front of the neck and it makes thyroid hormones, T4 and T3, and it releases them into the bloodstream. Hyperthyroidism means that the thyroid hormone levels are too high. Hypothyroidism means that the thyroid hormone blood levels are too low. The pituitary gland is located deep inside the skull at the base of the brain. The pituitary gland tells the thyroid gland how much thyroid hormone to release into the bloodstream. The pituitary gland secretes thyroid stimulating hormone called TSH. The pituitary gland controls the thyroid through the amount of TSH that it releases into the bloodstream. The higher the TSH blood level, the higher the amount of thyroid hormones released into the blood by the thyroid gland. The lower the TSH le level secreted by the pituitary, the lower the thyroid hormone levels, T4 and T3, secreted by the thyroid gland. In hyperthyroidism, the thyroid hormone blood levels are too high. In, hypo, in hyperthyroidism, the symptoms can be weight loss, anxiety, increased sweating, diarrhea, heart palpitations, fatigue, shortness of breath, abnormal menstruation, and getting hot easily. In hypothyroidism, the thyroid hormone blood levels are too low. In hypothyroidism, the symptoms can be weight gain, fatigue, getting cold easily, hair loss, abnormal menstruation, muscle aching, joint aching, memory difficulty, and hoarseness. Evaluating thyroid function involves measuring the hormone made and secreted by the pituitary gland, thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, and measuring the hormones made and secreted by the thyroid gland, T4 and T3, although we usually don't need to measure T3. It turns out that pituitary thyroid stimulating hormone blood level, TSH, is high when the thyroid gland is not making and secreting enough thyroid hormones. Primary hypothyroidism. The pituitary gland thyroid stimulating hormone blood levels, again TSH, is low when the thyroid gland is making and secreting too much thyroid hormones, primary hyperthyroidism. Surprisingly, thyroid stimulating hormone measurement, TSH, is not helpful in secondary hypothyroidism. That is, in hypothyroidism caused by the pituitary gland not making enough TSH to adequately stimulate the thyroid gland to make and release enough thyroid hormones. A high plasma-free T4 confirms the diagnosis of primary hyperthyroidism, and primary hyperthyroidism is suggested by a low pituitary TSH blood test. A low plasma-free T4 confirms the diagnosis of primary hypothyroidism, which is suggested by a high TSH level. A low plasma-free T4 and a low or normal TSH confirms the diagnosis of secondary hypothyroidism. Secondary hypothyroidism is due to the pituitary gland not making enough thyroid-stimulating hormone. Secondary hypothyroidism is very uncommon. Plasma total T3. T3 is a thyroid hormone mostly derived from conversion of T4 thyroid hormone. The plasma total T3 is rarely needed and is used only in special circumstances. An example would be when the TSH level is low, suggesting hyperthyroidism, but the free T4 level is normal. Now, another test, the plasma free T3, is offered by a lot of laboratories, but the reliability of the test is uncertain and it isn't needed. 
if your doctor suspects hyperthyroidism, an overactive thyroid, meaning too much thyroid hormone, too much T4 or T3, then order the TSH blood test and a free T4 level. You'll order the same tests if you suspect hypothyroidism, which means an underactive thyroid gland, not enough, not enough thyroid hormones. Let's go over the results of the tests that you might get one more time. High TSH and low free T4. This means primary hypothyroidism. The thyroid gland is not making enough hormone, enough thyroid hormone. A low TSH and a high free T4. This means primary hyperthyroidism. This means that the thyroid gland is making too much thyroid hormones. If the TSH is normal but the free T4 is low, this is secondary hypothyroidism. Secondary hypothyroidism means it's the pituitary gland's fault. The thyroid gland is not making enough thyroid hormones, T4 and T3, because the pituitary gland is not making enough TSH. In this case, you would think that the TSH would be low, but it's usually not. The TSH is usually normal in secondary hypothyroidism, and that's why it's a good idea to order both the TSH level and a free T4. Well, that's it for this visit. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.